Look, I think most of us can see and can tell that this was a money play, but there's three major factors that people are not paying attention to when it comes to this fight. The reason Mike lost his fight was not necessarily because it was specifically about money. There's a lot of other things that people have to consider. So look, I know we all wanted Mike to win, but hear me out. Keep watching all the way to the end of the video till I break it down for the number one reason of why he lost this fight. Because it's going to make a lot of sense at the end. So the third thing about this whole ordeal is that Mike just had a health scare. And that technically is reason why they shouldn't even have still set this fight up in the first place. The fight definitely should have been called off, but a lot of people were still screaming for it. And they knew that it would bring in major numbers, okay? major clicks major views major money jake paul is a youtuber mike tyson no longer fights the way that they get money is through endorsements and big events like this and the way that they set things up so they could tell based off of all of the hype that was surrounding it that it was gonna be a major thing i mean this is technically like saying Mike is coming out of retirement for the second time and everybody just wanted to see it. Plus, a lot of people were wanting Mike Tyson to knock out Jake Paul simply because Jake Paul be running his mouth and we, a lot of us don't even feel like he a real boxer. The second reason is because due to those health complications, although Mike got major money, those are major hospital bills. If you look into the history of what he was going through, he was having blood transfusion. He was in the hospital for days. Then you got to go through little rehab situations. All of that is major money. I mean, if you spent a couple days in the hospital, you would know what I'm talking about. That's not cheap. So with all of those things that added up, I'm sure he was looking to see, okay, how can I make this money back? Even though they already had preset this up, this throws a monkey wrench in the whole situation simply because the original idea was for him probably to go in full health and to actually box but once that changed once he had a either heart attack or stroke or whatever it says that he had to where he had to be hospitalized that changed everything that changed the dynamics of everything because now Mike could actually get hurt even though we feel like maybe Jake Paul isn't the greatest boxer or anything boxing is dangerous and so that leads into the number one reason why why Mike Tyson lost was because he, Jake Paul, and Netflix, all of them are their own business entities and they decided to collaborate to put this thing together. So the main objective is to make money and nobody wants to die, all right? Not even Jake Paul. He don't want to get knocked out and Mike Tyson don't want to get punched in a particular area where maybe it activates his ulcer or, you know, he gets a blood clot or something. There's a bunch of potential stuff that could happen. So at the end of the day, Day, I think Mike actually gave it his best given the nature of the situation that he had to go through all of the parameters that he had listed basically you know the the health scare the showing up and lasting rounds and all of this stuff and making it a good fight because I'm sure people don't want to see old school Mike where he was knocking people out in 30 seconds <laughs> maybe some people wanted to see that but a lot of us wanted to see at least some type of competition going on here so there's a lot of people mentioning he was biting his glove and things like that and they was thinking maybe it was signals maybe he was holding himself back and maybe it's a combination of both maybe he was saying like okay you know i'm gonna bite my glove and that mean you know chill out or whatever the case may be or he was biting his glove because he's like man i really want to swing at dude but again if you think about the different factors that's going on in this thing i mean when you have a stage and lights and all of that like your adrenaline is already going he has to not only worry about everybody else but he's worrying mostly about himself so do i still think mike tyson could have knocked out jay paul absolutely yes but at what cost okay and that's the major thing that we want to consider because if he just threw his all into it knowing he's 60 knowing he just had a health scare that might have been the wrong thing to do for for ego purposes or that's really what it what it all would have boiled down to is just for ego purposes and every every time you have a big ego play there's a crash right behind it. Don't nobody want to experience that. On one hand, I definitely want to mention that Jake Paul should be super extra humble about the fight. He shouldn't 
act like he won. This was a super handicapped match. He better not act like he did anything great or any major accomplishment at all because Mike Tyson was severely handicapped. This man was not ready and in full health for this fight. I don't care how much rehab he did and how much he done came back, whatever. He still was unprepared for this fight. So, I mean, Jake Paul, get real, bro. Like, dead serious. You up there talking about, yeah, and looking all crazy, bro, please. You barely won against a 60-year-old, retired, just got over a heart attack boxer. I ain't trying to hear it. You still, you still didn't do nothing. So, if you think about it, y'all, just mindset-wise, what's the mindset of Mike Tyson? I need to take care of myself so I can still see my kids at the end of the day. I need to get this money because I just got through going through a whole bunch of hospital bills and I definitely have to make sure that I continue the lifestyle that I want. So he wants to stay alive and he wants to get money. Yeah, the fight is going to look a little shaky because of all the factors that were mentioned. And that should be high priority on everybody's list anyway, is your health, not at the sake of any ego play. So that leads me in to what we're going to talk about next week so stay tuned because next week i'm gonna point out some things on what you should be focused on in your life as far as your health goes because a lot of people not doing that and you need to pay attention to how healthy you are on a number of different scales so look forward to that next week y'all shoot me a comment what you think here's my opinion at the end of the day is that mike fought a good fight i know it looked weird it looked shaky he still went out there on the biggest stage netflix freezing having bandwidth issues he still went up there and still did something he could have just called it completely off but again, also with the factor that, yo, I got to make this 20 mil. He went out there and still did what he needed to do. Lost by unanimous decision or the number cards or whatever. You shouldn't care about that at the stage that Mike Tyson is at. If you're him, you shouldn't be caring about that. Okay. So you got to take care of yourself. You watching this right now. Pay attention to your health. We'll talk about it next week. Make sure you subscribe so you can stay updated.